Well, hi there. My name is John Kovac, and we're going to talk about probably the most important thing you could do in terms of making your harp playing sound good, which is tuning it. So we're going to talk about a whole different ways in various segments. And I've always said that the most expensive harp will sound terrible if it's not tuned properly, and the cheapest harp will sound good if it is tuned properly. So, that's a couple ground rules here. First of all, I'm playing a Paraguayan style harp, which I've made, and the blues are C's. And the scale is, the blue is C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, a lot of people will tune the lowest strings first, uh, because there's more tension there, and that'll change the makeup of the soundboard and change things around. So, that's probably where we should begin. So we'll start here without a uh, electronic tuner, and we'll pick up on the actually the second octave. You can hear it better, even though we do go lower. And that note is a C. Now, if you don't have a tuning fork or an electronic tuner, you either get a C from a piano or from a fellow musician or just whatever sounds good to you. So I know that's a C. So what I do is this. I've been taught this, actually, it was in the Sylvia Woods uh, method book, and this is the way I started tuning. Play the, we'll call these numbers, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, just by your ear, you play the one, three, five, eight, and your ear will tell you if those are off. And, of course, if one of them sounds off to your ear, obviously you tune up or down. One, three, five, eight. Then try the one, four, six, eight. Again, one, four, six, eight. And then finally, the two, five, seven. The notes, of course, are C, E, G, C, C, F, A, C, D, G, B. Now, as long as we're on the subject, I suppose you could also just go Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, and see if your ear can tell the difference. Unfortunately, that's not very accurate, but for lack of nothing else, if you hear something is off, well then, if you feel that's off, you just tune it up. But don't rely on that method because it, it is not uh, accurate to most people. Now, once you've got your, that, we'll call it the reference octave in tune, the next thing to do, of course, is just go up or down by octaves. And if you hear anything off, tune it, of course. Same thing going up. Remember, this is, the, this is the octave we've already tuned up, so forth. Okay, that's lesson one on tuning.